I want to try to make an update as I've been doing, but without the continual bitching. I'm just getting tired of the continual complaint that just rests on my shoulders. But I'm just going to lay down a few observations that I've been seeing over the last few days. My bees have had the luxury of like three or four days of bringing pollen in and loads of it so they were able to like it's amazing how much work they can get done in a short amount of time and there's a lot of it out there so they've packed like a frame two frames of pollen <clears throat> hopefully that's able to hold them because i've noticed my bees have totally started to ignore the protein patties i'm putting on they're like fuck it we're not eating this shit anymore they have a taste of that good stuff and they don't want you know the supplement and how can you blame them they've been on it for at least two months now and typically you see a box of bees coming out of spring going into may you're thinking shit we gotta get a box on because they're gonna move into that swarm state but the bees aren't even thinking of that i mean if they're able to muster a box of bees all they're doing is just maintaining themselves the brood nest inside is pretty sad. So I'm just waiting, 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 waiting until we get steady nutrition coming into the nest and until we can actually transition a full cycle of real good productive brood before I even think about make, taking a step forward here. The ticket this year is maintenance. If we can just maintain, then we're gonna be good. Then we're gonna be able to step out and then grow. But I'm afraid, you know, the colonies as we're going through housekeeping, we're noticing that colonies just dwindle. They're just falling apart. They're running out of time. They're just not able to maintain themselves. And we're seeing a terrible amount of dwindle because of that. But my ticket here will be we're going to recognize increased losses because of because of dwindling, but as long as I've been able to hold my nukes, I'll be able to hold, you know, hold myself. Moving those nukes inside and that one yard of bees was my best decision all spring. I've made a lot of mistakes all spring. We've had tough, challenging conditions all spring. Moving those bees inside through those three weeks of terrible weather it it, uh, it was those three weeks within April that, you know, just completely swiped the legs out from underneath my bees. Is, and they haven't been able to regain themselves to stand up again. But those hives that inside, they missed all that cold weather right at a very critical time of development. And they just relieved them of all that stress. And they seem to be, I don't, I'm not seeing any dwindling in those colonies like I am the rest of my yards. So that just that relief of stress has been allowed them to then take that step forward. So that is, that's the only thing I'm hinging on right now is my nukes. I'm going to be able to drop them into all these empty spots.
these bees, these bees. 